Good morning. I hope everybody's having a good morning this Tuesday morning. I don't know about you guys, but I have a tough time sleeping, so I'm sure you've heard me talk about that before. So it was a kind of a rough night of insomnia, but uh, got some sleep, feeling much better, and I uh, just had a little breakfast with the family and about to head out and conquer the day. Quick tip here, okay? Um, I talked to a client a couple of days ago, actually it was Friday, and they were talking about that they already been pre-approved by what's this called the Rocket Boom type of company. Nothing against them, um, but basically what they do is kind of pre-qualify instead of pre-underwrite the file. And what that means is basically they just take basic information and say, yeah, it looks good, it looks, you know, so and so. And they told this client, uh, they actually tried stealing this client, but hey, you know, it's it's business, so I get it. Uh, we've been staying in front of him, but. Uh, he used them before, and basically they said, no, you're good, you're pre-qualified and pre-qualified. And meanwhile, he had a mortgage late, and what they don't do in some of these companies is go above and beyond on the front end and pre-underwrite the file. So what does that mean? So what we do is that we run everything through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac to make sure we have at least the automated approval. And then beyond that, if they're self-employed, if they're commissioned, or something, something else like that, what we want to do is look at the tax returns, let's look at the income up front, let's see what we can use or can't use. Because, hey, if you are, even if you got base income, but you got overtime, but you don't have a two-year history of it, that could be a problem. Uh, same thing with bonus. So it's very important to understand when somebody says, well, so-and-so has been, been pre-approved over there, so it shouldn't be a problem over here. It's apples and oranges. It's night and day. It's completely two different things. You have to pre-underwrite the file. You have to run it through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. You have to analyze the income up front. If they are, even if they're base income, okay? I've seen a teacher who's base income but works over the summer and takes a loss from being doing self-employed stuff, okay, to help with taxes. Well, that could bite you in the butt, you know? So it's very important to do that up front. If you don't do that up front, people think, well, you know, I have a, you know, I have a pre-approval letter. Well, it's not. Uh, it's a piece of paper. It's something that has been vetted, you know, multiple different ways from different angles to look at. And, you know, I tell people all, all this, you know, all the time, you, you know, people on my team too, hey, I'm not going to know all the answers, but I'm going to know the questions to ask to find the answers. And that is absolutely key because there's so many guidelines out there, they're changing and so forth. If you don't know and don't analyze something where you could see a potential problem and to try to fix it on the front end, it will become a problem. I mean, you guys have seen me over and over again when we announce our SOS loans. That's where a loan has been so-called pre-qualified and all of a sudden it blows up the week of closing and then all of a sudden, um, you know, then it, then it becomes, you know, a major, major issue, uh, you know, the week of closing. So very important uh, to make sure you do the basic steps, run the file through automated approval, try to get the Fannie or Freddie automated approval, but go beyond that if they have income. And, and this is where questioning up front is very, very important. Uh, a lot of people sometimes say, well, why are they ask me all these questions? So as a loan officer, I tell other loan officers, you have to explain the why. The reason why I'm asking where this money came from is not because I think you're a drug dealer. It's because all of a sudden it just plopped into your checking account. So we need to find out where that came from and can we source and season that. That's the reason, you know, you know, borrower. Because, you know, 10, 15 years ago, uh, when we had the last mortgage crash, that was the problem was people were getting funds from different areas. They were taking out loans behind the scenes. They were using it. So you got to explain that. But you have to dig deeper. You have to dig below the surface. And, and don't say, I hear a lot of people say this too. Hey, they should be fine. They have a million dollars in the bank. They got great credit. Great. But if you got no income, you got a problem. So, you know, yes, they could buy a house with the cash. That doesn't how, that's not how it works. It's got to go through the secondary market. It's got to go through... Hey, th does all the pieces of the puzzle fit together? And can this be a sellable loan on the secondary market? That's it. That's it. it has nothing to do with, hey, they got a million here, a million. And now you can use, if they got retirement, you can, you can draw income off of that with systematic withdrawals. There's a way to do that. But it's the whole picture. So you have to really analyze and, and really look at where are the potential issues. You know, when I'm looking at a file, I'm looking five steps ahead, eight steps ahead. If, they, if this happens, this happens, you know, so let's figure out this first, let's vet it first, and then we're good to go. That's a true pre-approval, that's a true pre-underwrite. It's very, very important. And there's a lot of people in the business who do that. I'm not just saying that we're the only company that, that does that. So anyway, let me know if you got any questions on that. Let me know if that makes sense. Let me know if you got any pre-approvals out there where they haven't vetted it up front uh, the you know, right way 
uh, just to make sure that nothing blows up on you, okay? Comment down below, uh, shoot me a private message, or you can text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon.